Same as in Europe, Russia is leveraging in, on anti-Americanism in very powerful European nations like in France and the anti-American sentiment and the desire of the French leaders to position themselves in counterbalancing America. Same thing Russia is leveraging on the anti-colonialist sentiment and tapping into the anti-colonialist sentiment in Africa. Same thing. And this weak trade position. I'm wondering if it is not serving Russia well, actually, positioning itself as an underdog, as somebody, well, of course, I am uncomparable to China. Look at my numbers. I'm not there to rob you of your wealth. While, of course, the agenda behind is exactly the same as everyone else's to tap into the rich resources. However, uh, what I want to add on the propaganda point is that media is not the only rabbit in the hat of Evgeny Prigozhin. Evgeny Prigozhin owns, as you mentioned, a large private army. And thanks to this army in Africa today, he is trying to reach the same deals as they reached in Syria by providing military aid and securing areas, geographic areas with oil resources and refineries, then in exchange for share in the refineries and in the oil fields, same deals are proposed to African leaders. So on the other hand, Russia is tapping in the needs of the African leaders, not just to close the eyes on the on the human rights or whatever. To tell you the truth, American companies, oil companies present in Africa, they are not really caring about human rights either, or French companies for that matter. It's just they're also tapping into the need of those leaders to help them rig elections, and Russia masters that issue. And they are providing through Prigozhin also advisors, not only national security advisors and bodyguards, but advisors on elections in countries like DRC, Madagascar, or others.